What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be using a fan favorite on the Series 3 ladder. We're going to be using a Garchomp team that also features Chi Yu, Fluttermane, and Ting Lu. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content and time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But Garchomp is one of those Pokemon that dominated in Series 1, absolutely lit up the rank ladder. And then since Series 2 and Series 3 came along, Fluttermane has been a problem, so you have been seeing less and less of Garchomp. But Garchomp is really good with the Steel Terror type, which is exactly what we have for you guys today. Garchomp is going to be our first Pokemon for today's team preview with the Rough Skin and the Lumberry, rocking an amazing move set of Earthquake, Dragon Call, Iron Head, and Protect. Two of them are stab moves, one of them is going to be a Terra stab move. I really like this move set for Garchomp. I really feel like it puts him back into the metagame and makes him really strong up against a few different Pokemon. We got Corviknight in our second spot, and Corviknight has been low key really really good like almost meta whenever i burst it it's always top tier it's very good bulky on defensive and hp side and it can do damage all around it has mirror armor as its ability the oka berry as its item so it can actually uh eat up some fire shots and then it has brave bird iron head tailwind for speed control and bulk up to boost that attack stat and defensive stat we got Chi Yu in our third spot. Chi Yu is just absolutely amazing, especially with dropping the special defense. And then paired up with Fluttermane, makes it 10 times better. It's got Beads of Ruin, Choice Specs as its item, Heat Wave, Dark Pulse, Flamethrower, and Terror Blast, which will turn into a ghost type move, considering ghost is going to be its terror type. Fluttermane, Chi Yu's best friend, is our fourth Pokemon with Protosynthesis and the Focus Ash, Moonblast, Dazzling Gleam, Shadow Ball Protect. You guys have seen that plenty of times before. We also have Amoongus. Do I really have to say anything about Amoongus? Everything's pretty base with him, and that, that's all I'm going to say. We got Ting Lu in our final spot, and this Ting Lu is my favorite Ting Lu. It's got Fisher, Stopping Tantrum, Ruination, Heavy Slam, Vessels of Ruin, and a Soul Fest as his item. Reason it's my favorite is because it has Fisher. Fisher makes this game so much fun. You can uh, have some RNG luck. You can have some bad RNG luck. It can go either way, but having Fisher is always, it's always fun when you land it, you know? But guys, there's the team preview. If you guys want to rent this team for yourself, rent the code is at the top right hand corner. But let's get after it. Let's hop on that Series 3 ranked double ladder and let's grab some wins with this Garchomp team. First match coming at you guys, going up against a team with no legendaries. Super hyped for that. We're going up against a T-Tart and Lincoln Rock team. Those are going to be the top tier Pokemon. I could bring in Garchomp because Garchomp thrives under that sand stream. I love it in there. Then they also have Gyarados for Intimidate, Defiant, Annihilate, then Amoongus, and Fluttermane. Who should I go into this one, and how should I lead it? I mean, Fluttermane's going to be great. I definitely want to bring Fluttermane in at some point in this match. I could actually lead Ting Lu, because Ting Lu's not going to be bad. He can pretty much just outbulk a lot. He can outbulk a ton of Pokemon, which could be really, really good for us. And does he lower special attack, I believe? I believe it is special attack. So, who do I want to lead? I could see Gyarados coming out here for the lead. I mean, I could Mirror Armor it, which I really, really like. So, I am just going to go Corviknight for the lead. I like Corviknight. And ch 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 do we just go Chi Yu? Chi with the choice specs, we can outspeed a good bit. Um, I am scared of the Lycanroc T-Tar, so maybe not going into him is going to be the play call. Could go into Ting Lu, but I think Chomp's just going to be your play. I say we just go Chomp, get Chomp rolling here, bring Chi Yu, Fluttermane. I can get down with that. I can definitely get down with that. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. Maybe I should have led the, uh, the Chi Yu, but if they lead the Sandstorm, T-Tar and Lycanroc, that'd just be a problem, right? It's just going to be a problem for my Chi Yu. Can't really do too much damage. I would have to terrestrialize, and even with terrestrialization, they could still do a good amount of damage on me. It's just a tough situation, so we'd rather just bring it in the back end. But now comes the lead, and there it is. We got mirror armor right here, which is going to be pretty good. And we have two Pokemon that will not be affected by the sandstorm, which works really, really well. We got our steel type or ground type, and from here, I could just go for ground move. I could tailwind booster speed up a little bit, which could be really good for us. Or I could just straight up Iron Head into Lycanroc, which I think might be our play. And then maybe just set up a Tailwind next turn. I think I'm with that. I'm just going to EQ. I'm just going to EQ and go into an Iron Head. Maybe he doesn't Terrasalize and go into Flying. But I like EQ here. I really like EQ here. It's just free, right? And say he Terrasalize into Flying, it just hits Lycanroc pretty hard. So I'm with it all day. We're just going to hope that he doesn't Terrasalize. Just so we get off as much damage as we can. So let's see what our opponent does. And I can always set up Tailwind next turn, because I feel like we should be able to bulk up a decent amount. Kind of go from there. But I was thinking about bulking up. But good thing I did go into the Iron Head. You can go for the probably double rock side, look for the flinches. EQ is going to fly. Gonna do some nice damage on both these guys. And oh, no sash. No sash on the uh 
on the Lycan Rock. So this could be big. If we do not flinch here, T-Tar just dies. T-Tar dies. No Sash on the Lycan Rock, which is weird. Which is weird. I actually seen that like twice recently. No flinch coming out from you. Love you. I love you, Corvo. Taking out T-Tar. Easy turn one. Easy turn one. Get off some big time damage. Taking out two Pokemon. No problem. Taking out two Pokemon. No problem. Really, really like that turn. I really, really like that turn. So let's see who his final two Pokemon are. I think if we set up a Tailwind, we pretty much can just lock this one down. But Annihilate is going to be that one. Annihilate is going to be brought out here. And he's also going to bring out Lovely Little Amoongus. So I could just Brave Bird Amoongus slot down, which I'm really leaning towards and set up a Tailwind. Because we already outspeed. There's no point in that. So I'm just going to do that. And do I EQ? I think I'm going to EQ just in case he wants to uh, Terrasalize and to say Fire here. Which a lot of Annihilates are. We can do that. But he's just going to protect the Moongus. So Moongus gets to protect. Are you going to go for a bulk up? Are you going for a clean little bulk up? EQs are flying with my Garchomp. Garchomp getting some work done here. Get it, Chomp. Get it, Chomp. That's a decent amount of damage. And this thing goes Ops for the bulk up. I'm fine with the defensive boost. Attack boost is a little scary. But I have Chiyu and, and Fluttermane in the back end. The Brave Bird's going to get blocked. I feel like we just do that again. Amoongus could Terrasalize, say, in, like, water. It is an option, but Buffets are going to slowly deal some damage here. And I think Corvo outspeeds, right? All right, Corvo. You outspeed pretty good here. Let me see your, your speed. I know Garchomp goes first, but I'm just hoping that Corvo can outspeed the, the Annihilate. Ooh, you actually you might not. You might not. I still want to go for a Brave Bird here. I still want to go for the Brave Bird. And do I go for the Flinch Shot here? I'm going to try to Flinch Annihilate. But we got Iron Head. Might as well go for it, right? I know it's not Stab. It's not going to do as much damage. But I'm looking for the Flinch here. I'm looking to get a little bit of Flinch action here. There it is. <laughs> there it is. Let's go. Let's go. Big time Flinch coming out from us. Brave Bird's going to pop. Do some big time damage to Amoongus. And Amoongus is putting one of us to sleep, right? And Annihilate's probably can on the other one. Makes the most sense. Unless you're just Palm Puffing into that uh, Annihilate slot. Yep, that's exactly what we're doing. So he's going to Palm Puff there. And let's see what he does. It's weird. This Annihilate is that slow. This Annihilate is that slow. Oh, no, wait. It flinched. It flinched. Okay. So do we go for that again? Possibility, right? It is a possibility. Do we go for the flinch again? Or do we just start trying to get rid of Amoongus, right? I mean, I'm going to Brave Bird, and I'm just going to... I'm not worried about Annihilate. Once we get out our, our, our special attack, because we should be game... Um, I guess we'll try to make a flinch again. Screw it, right? I guess we'll try to make a flinch. Moongus goes for protect. Give me the flinch here again. We're going to go two for two of flinches, because I said so. Because I said so. Garchomp, chipping off some damage. Give me the flinch. No, it gets another bulk up ball. <laughs> I don't mind it. I don't mind it. Again, we have the amazing back end Pokemon with Heat Wave, the special defense drop. Like, everything's going to be cooking. We're just going to be cooking. I'm just kind of waiting for him to take out my Pokemon, really. That's really all I'm doing. I'm not going to get rid of Amoongus here. I might just double down to Amoongus. Probably, probably send an EQ at this turn. No need to waste his Terror type. He's going to get Leftovers HP. But we're just going to go for Brave Bird. We are just going to go. Do I go Dragon Call EQ? EQ we're going to go for. Doesn't affect Corvo. Might as well just send him. Say, screw the flinch. Let's get off some damage. But yeah, our opponent's just like trying to play this one real slow, not knowing who I have in the back end. Because this is only my lead. Garchomp and Corviknight has been my lead. EQ is going to fly, not affecting Corviknight. I think he just takes out Corviknight with like a jump punch or something. And we almost get rid of this thing. Rage of is going to fly through here. And are you going to put my Garchomp to sleep? Which could kind of be bad for us, right? It definitely could be bad. And he's going to palm up the lane. Okay, no, that's fine. Okay, so Garchomp can get rid of... Garchomp can get rid of what's it called, no problem. Amoongus with EQ. I think I just protect an EQ. Maybe have him Terrasalize here. Just just to see what typing he's gonna go into. Probably be my best bet, right? So yeah, I'm just gonna protect here. I'm just dropping EQ. We know he outspeed. Annihilate might even protect. Or to be honest, Amoongus probably gonna protect. And that would kinda suck, right? That would be tough. We'll see what our opponent wants to do. But we're just hoping that Annihilate's going to go into a Terra here, right? 
That's really what I wanted to do right here right now. And that's exactly what it's gonna do. So that's why I protect this turn and brought out the Flutter Me instead of Chiyu. I wanna force this terror, get an eye on that, try to look over it, and kind of go from there. And it is fire, so EQ is gonna do a nice chunk of damage. I know he's bulked up plus two. But we'll see. We can Shadow Ball into that. We can also swap we can also swap it to our Chiyu for more damage with our Flutter Mane. But we're hoping Amoongus doesn't protect here. And it does, yeah. Nice lovely protect coming out from a lovely little Amoongus. EQ is going to fly. It's going to get blocked. We might want to just Thrasilize our Flutter Mane here. We do have Sash, so maybe I'll just use Sash, to be honest with you. I think we'll just use Sash. EQ is doing a nice chunk of damage. We like that. And Rage Fist is going to fly, and you're going to take out Guard Chomp. That actually works perfectly fine with me. That works perfectly fine. I've been waiting. I've been waiting just to get out Flutter Mane to you and not swap and just sell this battle. But now that I have him out, I can just go... Shadow Ball, I can go Heat Wave. Um, who's gonna be faster here? I think Fluttermane's gonna be faster, which kinda sucks, right? I mean, I still have Focus Ash on Fluttermane too. So, we should be fine. And I'm just gonna Terrasilize my, uh, Chiyu. And the reason I wanna do that is just so Drain Punch doesn't hit any of my Pokemon and we're all Ghost. And we can just go from there, right? That's exactly what I wanna do. So, I'm gonna Shadow Ball this slot. And I'm gonna be choicing. I mean, I could choice into a Terra Blast here. Which would probably be my best bet, right? Choice, or I could choice to a Dark Pulse. I think Dark Pulse would be a little bit better. What does more damage, let's say? Dark Pulse, Tire Blast, okay. This one just has a chance of flinching. Yeah, I'm with the Dark Pulse. The reason I don't want a Heat Wave is because I just think like a Rage Pattern might just come in here. I'm just going to double down to Annihilate. Annihilate, I'm coming after you. I am coming after you. I am coming after you. I'm saying screw it. We're not we're not choosing into a heat wave. I'm choice spec on this. I want to win this match, but this this match has been way too long than it had to be. Like we killed the first two Pokemon on our team in one turn, and now our opponent's playing really slow. And that's why Annihilate is so annoying. But Shadow Ball is gonna fly. I think Shadow Ball will straight up KO. It does not. Good thing we doubled down. Good thing we doubled down. Good thing we doubled down. We could have heat wave and won that, but we doubled down. We doubled down at Annihilate just in case. That's gonna take him out. A moon gets what are you going for? Maybe a palm puff, maybe a spore. Nothing crazy. And that is going to be match number one. He's going to go for the palm puff. But that that is what I was waiting for the whole time. I knew our first two weren't really going to do much up, up against these two. So I was just trying to do a little bit of damage at, until I can get out Chiyu and Fluttermane. And then we finally got them both out here. And it was just game, set, match. Second match coming at you guys. Garchomp, fully showcased match number one. Love it. Absolutely dominate. Was dropping EQs, Iron Heads. No Dragon Calls, but still getting some work done. We're going up against a Chiyu Fluttermane team, just like ours, with Great Tusk, Gyarados, Deli Deli Bird, and then Amoongus. How should I go into this one? How should I play? I feel like Ting Lu is going to be great here. Also, they have Intimidate, so maybe Mirror Armor Corvo is going to be nice. I do like Corvo over here. Corvo can Mirror Armor. It can also set up a Tailwind. I don't believe they're going to lead Chiyu Fluttermane, and if they do, I mean, I could just lead Ting Lu, and that could be really good for us. I can start going for Fishers, man. I love to go for a Fisher. I would love to do it. I would love to go for a Fisher. This thing's so bulky. It's way too bulky, man. It's HP set 262. I really like that. I mean, Fluttermane could, or not Fluttermane, Delibird could come out here. So, again, I really like Ting Lu here. So, I'm going to go Ting Lu. I am going to go Corvo, maybe try to get some speed for the squad. And then I think I just go and cheat you. Fluttermane's going to be the play. Let's do it. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to get after this one and grab ourselves a win here in match number two. But I know Chiyu, I know Ting Lu, they contradict themselves a little bit, right? I'm going to drop a special attack, and then Chiyu lover special defense. So it will kind of cancel out everything, but I feel like we have to bring in both. If I can get them out on the field separately, I feel like we should be fine, and we should kind of like prevail with this win. But we'll see. We'll see how some plays, because sometimes our plan doesn't go as planned. Fluttermane, Delibird come out here. Ting Lu, great. Great Pokemon for the lead. We like to sleep. We love this lead. Uh, do I even set up a Tailwind? I feel like I just go after Fluttermane. Fluttermane might even swap here, right? Fluttermane might even swap. And I have Stomping Tantrum too, which is really good. I could bulk up here. I think bulk up might be my play. What's my Terror type? Poison. I'm going to bulk up here, and I'm going to Terrasilize you in the ground. And I'm just going to go for a Heavy Slam into, into Fluttermane. I'm going to say screw it and just drop a Heavy Slam. Or I could go for a Fisher. A Fisher is a possibility, but I'm just gonna play this one smart. I'm just gonna play this one smart here. Go for the bulk up, boost my defense, boost my attack. And we'll get after that way. Only problem is we terrasize in the ground here, which is a little eh. 
I don't really like that typing, but it's better. It's better than uh, better than what we are. But he ends up withdrawing the Fluttermane into Gary. Yeah, Gary's gonna come out here. And we're just gonna intimidate Garrus, which is gonna be pretty good here. And you know what? Screw it. I'm gonna start dropping Fishers. I'm gonna just start dropping them. Let's do it. So we end up terrestrializing. Now looking at this Terra, kind of sucks. <laughs> it's kind of bad. <laughs> we might want to swap Thing Loon Saver for later, but we'll see how this one plays out here. We shall see, because this is a bad Terra type. I was kind of doing this for the Flutter main purpose, but Flutter main just stayed in or just swapped out. Icy Wind's going to fly here. Do we mirror armor that? We do. That's awesome. Slowing down Deli Deli Bird. Slowing down Ting Lu. Ting Lu's already slowing off. Bulk Up's going to come out here. We're boosting our stats. Awesome. Dude, cool. Um, I really want to swap Ting Lu, but at the same time, I don't really want to because I'm try to, I gotta try to get rid of Stelly Bird first and foremost, right? First and foremost, Stelly Bird has got to go. Do I go for the Fisher onto it? I could if I want to. I could Tailwind. Um, I'm just gonna go. I might double. I'm gonna double down to Stelly Bird here. I'm gonna double down. I gotta get rid of this thing. I don't think he protects his turn with the, with the speed on the field. I see kind of staying in here, but if I get rid of Dolly Bird, then Fishers could start flying for me. I like our back end Pokemon. He's going to Encore me into a bulk up. Okay. I'm just going to keep bulking up then. That's fine. Waterfall is going to fly into you. We soak up pretty well. And I'm bulking up. I might as well stay in and keep bulking up, right? I might as well. I might as well, right? Sompy Tantrum is going to fly here. We are minus one, but stab, terror type. Should chunk up a little bit. Eh, could be better. But I start going for Fisher, say screw it. <laughs> How many turns am I choice into this? Two more. Ah, uh, okay. Screw it. We're going for it. We're just going to bulk up. I'm going for the Fishers. Because if not, then Soppy Catch and becomes double damage, and I really like it. But I think he just doubles down into me and gets rid of my Ting Lu here. Could be a problem. Could be a problem. But he's going to withdraw the Gyarados. That's fine. And he's going to go into. Whom are you going into? You might be attacking my Deli Bird here. She is going to come out of here. Ooh. I think you're attacking my Corvo here. Don't do it. You're going to freeze try. Now you're attacking him. Can you eat that? You can't. Can you land this Fisher for me? Never mind. You just get frozen. Thaw out. Land a Fisher. You'll be amazing. I'm bulking up again. <laughs> I'm bulking up again. Um, I wish I could like protect or something. I can't even Terra. That was really, really solid. Solid place for him. I can't even protect. I'm dead. This is no, but I have the Aka Berry. I have the Oka Berry. I do have the Oka Berry. I'm going to get rid of Chiyu. Oh, man. I can only bulk up. It's a terrible sight. It's a terrible sight. We are in the worst position possible. Encore ends after this, but then he can keep me Encore into that. I probably should have swapped, but you know what? We're going to stay in. Screw it. We're going for the Fisher again. Actually, we'll go for Stomping Tantrum. Tough, tough Encores. Encores and Freeze doing me bad right now. Freeze sure I come there. That's KO. We have to... Oh, you're going to go into Corvo. And he's going to say Heat Wave KOs my Ting Lu, which it might not. It does not. Can you guys, like, get something done here? Ting Lu, can you unfreeze? Thank you. It's not potential coming in hot here. Wait, why did it say Ting Lu unfroze, but then Corvo went? That's weird, right? Oh, no. It's because he Heat Wave and burned it off of me. Thank you. The side attached, we're going to fly here. How much damage are we doing here? Love you. Love you. That's big time. That's big time. Okay, so now we have these two Pokemon. At least we got some work done there. Okaberry came in clutch there. But now he might just Encore me again. But Encore me might not be the play. It might not be the play. Yeah, we stayed in here way too long with Corvo. I feel like we, we did. Um, hmm. I think I'd rather get rid of Deli Bird, right? I sold my Terra. I'm gonna go after Deli Bird here. You know, screw it. I'm going for a Fisher onto this thing. <laughs> That'd be awesome if we can land it, but chances are we we, we die out here. Our Corviknight might survive for a shot, right? I, I would think Gleam and maybe like a Freeze Strike comes out here. But Chiyu is not there anymore. And Ting Lu's still out on the field, which is good. But we'll see what our opponent wants to do here. Because Deli Bird should go first. It's a good battle. It's a good match. And they're going to opt to Terrasalize here. They're going to show us their Terra. It's probably Fluttermane Terrasalizing. Correct. Yeah, into what? Straight Fairy? Straight Fairy. 
A straight fairy Pokemon. Straight fairy Pokemans. Alright, I feel ya. You going for a Gleam here? Pretty sure I coming out here into Corvo. Corvo should be able to soak that. And does, and Gleam's gonna KO both of us, yeah. Okay. I feel ya. Can you eat somehow, Corvo? No, yeah, no shot. 12 HP, no shot. Okay, so we're sitting here. We have Chiyu, we have Fluttermane with Focus Ash. Um, probably Terrasalize with Chiyu, right? In a straight ghost. Definitely gotta reapply. Definitely gotta reapply. Gotta Terrasalize him in a straight ghost. I have the choice specs on him. So, choice spec can do a big amount of damage. We also have the Focus Ash on our. On our Flutz. Yeah, we got Terrasalize Chiyu. It's gotta be Chiyu. Actually, we can't. Oh my god. I always forget that. We Terrasalize our what's called first. We Terrasalize our what's called already. That hurts. We Terrasalize our Ting Lu already. That's terrible, man. I hate this game. But I think we just go Gleam and Heat Wave here. That's gonna be my play. Because with the special defense shot, we should be able to get off some nice damage. You know, Icy Wind slow me down, which is big time play. Icy Wind slow me down. Chiyu's definitely dead to this, no problem. Fluttermane might be dead, and yeah, this match is not looking good for us. No bueno. Yeah, that's game set match. That is game set match. So terrible second match from us. Our opponent literally just outplayed us, and Chiyu actually ate. And you get a crit on my Fluttermane. Hold up. Wait a minute, Chiyu. Can you get some work done here? Can you pick up a double? Oh, I was going to say, can you pick up a double? That would have been amazing. That would have been amazing if he picked up a double. That would have been amazing. Because who's his final Pokemon? Is it, it's Gyarados, right? Yeah, no, we wouldn't have won this because we would have been choice. Okay, yeah. So, L battle for us here. Our opponent just outplayed us there. Kind of a perfect play with them with the Encore and getting a big time freeze. But match number two goes to our opponent. Let's hop to our third. Look for that winning record. Third and final match coming at you guys. That last match, let's put it away from us. Let's just let's just forget about it. We're one and one. Our opponent put a put a big time beating on us, but third battle with Wo Chen and Glamour team. Gonna try to stall me out. I feel like Amoogus is gonna be great here considering he has clear smog to get rid of stat boost on the Dantozo. Plus, if it comes into battle, it takes off spikes. So that's gonna be really good for us. I could lead Garchomp. I definitely want to have Amoogus more so as a back end Pokemon. But the Pokemon I could end up leading would be Chiyu Fluttermane, right? That's not bad. Chiyu Fluttermane is not bad. I am a little bit worried about Arcanine, but I feel like these two are going to be our play. So I'm going to leave both of them, bring Amoogus in the back end, and then I might just go Tinglu, or I can go Garchomp. It's Tinglu or Garchomp. Tinglu is going to be good up against the special attackers, but Stall could be a problem. So Tinglu with Fisher could be really, really good. So you know what? I'm going to go into Tinglu. Fisher could be great. I don't really like its terror type as ground. I think I'd rather have it as like something more so defensively because it's a Fisher build. It's built to like just bulk up and try to land Fishers. But yeah, having that be ground is a little tough. I'd rather it be like something like Poison. I really like Poison on there. Let's see who they end up leading. It's going to be Fluttermane and this little booger. This little Glamora booger. All right, I can, I can deal with this. I'm cool with that. So this thing's going to boost our energy. So its speed is going to go through the roof. Um, do I Terra here? Might. Might want to Terra here. And I think I am going to Terra and just Terra Blast this thing down. He might Terra as well. I feel like from here, we just Shadow Ball into this thing. <clears throat> Let's see what he ends up doing. I'm going to Terrasalize. He's probably going to Terrasalize here as well. Maybe Buttermane. Actually, no, he's not because she used Terra type when it came out first. Our Fluttermane has Focus Ash. That's why I'm not worried about that thing getting hit with a Shadow Ball. And I doubt he goes into a Shadow Ball into my Chiyu slot. He ends up just protecting that Pokemon. Okay. I feel you. I feel you. Shadow Ball is going to fly out here. Are you Mortal Spinning me? Mortal Spin could be a little bit of a problem. I mean, Defense Drop? We do not get the Defense Drop. Hurts a little bit. Hurts a little bit. But good Protect to read out what we're doing. And he is just going to go for that Power Gem into Chiyu. And wow, that is a lot of damage for no reason. A little bit too much damage for no reason. I'm Choice in Terror Blast, so... I guess we'll just send it Fodder Means way. And do I Shadow Ball again? What do I do here? I say we just double down on Fodder Mean. If Fodder Mean terrors, it terrors. I doubt it terrors, though. I might even swap. Let's see what they end up doing. I'm, I'm doubling down. I can't protect this turn, which is good. But I feel like he picks up a KO first and foremost, right? He's going to KO 
or hopefully he just goes after my Fluttermane, right? That would be a better play if he just Shadow Balls my Fluttermane and I'm able to take him out and then kind of work it on after that. That's a really solid lead from him. I'm just scared of the Mortal Spin coming out here later, so we have to start getting rid of that thing. So he opts to go after Chiyu. I really wanted him to go after Fluttermane. I really, really wanted that Pokemon to go after Fluttermane, but if you like that, it's all good. It is all good. And Shadow Ball's gonna fly. Shadow Ball flies. Show me no Sash. It's not Sash. It's boosting me. That's okay. Oh no, is he able to bulk it? Mortal Spin flying. Ugh! The Flutter Mane's not looking good here. I think I might just protect it and bring out Ting Lu. Do I Ting Lu this up? Yeah, I think Ting Lu's gotta be reply. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna Ting Lu this play. Um, Special attack is dropped all across the board. And, hmm, you might be able to eat up a poison at this point, right? I'm just gonna go for the, you know, I'm just gonna go for a stopping tantrum. I think you should be able to eat up a Shadow Ball. With the Ting Luth stuff on the field? I think you're fine, Fluttermane. I think you're fine. I think you are fine. Let's see what, a, what their Fluttermane ops do. Because I was gonna protect it, but I think, I think it's fine. I really do. The Gleam's gonna fly here. Yep. We have a Soak pretty well. We have the Assault Vest. Get a crit on my Tinglu, of course. And Shadow Ball is gonna KO you. And Stopping Tantrum should be able to KO this, uh... This, what's it called? This Glamora. But Glamora's gonna go first and probably take out Fluttermane, right? You're gonna take out my Fluts. Actually, no, you shouldn't be able to Soak. Yeah, you do. Oh, but Poison. Poison's gonna do enough, right? Stopping Tantrum comes in here. See you later, Glamora. And now we'll, now we'll go from here. Now we'll go from here. The spikes, I'm not worried about. We have our Amoongus in the back end. And I hate my Terror type right now. I hate my Terror type with, uh, with Ting Lu, even though we already used Terra. But can you see how soak this? No, you do not. Okay. I mean, I'm hoping it's Don Dozo Tasuguri. I really am, because at this point, I would just Rage Powder and start going for Fishers, right? That would be my best bet. And I'm really hoping it's both of them. I am really hoping it's Don Dozo Tasuguri here. Or it might be, I would think it'd be Wo Chen more than anybody, right? But I'm really hoping it's Don Dozo Tatsugiri. Oh baby, hop in the mouth, hop in the mouth. Hop in the mouth. All right. Did we just Rage Powder and go for Fishers? Yes, right? Yes, we have to. We have to. We have to say screw the stat boost. It's all about landing these Fishers. There's no need to go for a clear smile, right? It's all about Rage Powdering and landing these Fishers. Unless you're Grass Terra, that would be awful, but yeah, it's all about Rage Powder in this. There's no way you're Grass Terra. There's just no shot. There's no shot. You're gonna be one Terra type. That's gonna screw me over. Please don't be Grass Terra. Fire. I can deal with fire. <laughs> I can deal with fire. I need to land a Fisher. This is why we brought Ting Lu, for reasons like this. For reasons like this. Te oh, you got Terra Blast. Of course you got Terra Blast. Of course you got Terra Blast. Can we soak this? You don't soak this. You gotta land this Fisher right here, right now. You have to land this Fisher right here, right now. Let's get Ting Lu. Do it for the boys. Let's go. Let's go. Big time Fisher. Let's go. Let's go. That's huge. That is huge. Okay, now it's a 1v1. We have our Assault Vest up against this little booger. And do I go for another Fisher here? And the reason I say do I go for another Fisher is because if it misses, Stomping Tantrum is going to be doubled the next turn. Right, which is really good. I could just go for Ruination and just cut its HP in half. I feel like we just go for Ruination and cut its HP in half. Muddy Water comes out here. Did we dodge that? Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Ruination comes out here. We're going to cut its HP in half. And I don't think Stomping Tantrum can KO, but I'm still going to go for it. I think two Stomping Tantrums can KO. That's big time. Muddy Water going to come out here again. Ting Louie should be able to soak pretty well. Oh, wow. That did a lot more than I thought it would. A lot more. Stomping Tantrum. We need to be able to eat and land a Stomping Tantrum. This one will be double damage. Muddy Water comes out. It's going to KO me, isn't it? 
That hurts, man. Little Tatsu Giri defeating my assault vest Ting Lu there. That was such a good match. That was such a good match. Should have definitely won that match. We got one and two for today's video. One and two for today's video. Grabbed ourselves a losing record, but I feel like we played really, really well in today's video, especially in match number one and in match number three. Match number two, a little iffy. Our opponent kind of just outplayed us, but match number three, come on, man. We deserve that victory. Little Tatsu Giri is tanking through. Ting Lu just absolutely ripping into it. That is ridiculous. I thought we should have been able to get off at least one more shot and not die to two muddy waters with that HP. And we have a soul fest. Plus, we have the vessel of ruins. Amazing. It is amazing that 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 we just lost like that. But still, Fisher landed. That was pretty cool. Taking out the Don Dozo. That's one of the reasons we brought the Ting Lu and it got that done. But just couldn't get rid of that that smaller fish. But guys, that is gonna be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive every day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.